Hello everyone, I'm Sandeep and I'm a product manager on Azure MCP Server and today we're going to look at how to install Azure MCP Server on your favorite IDEs. Azure MCP Server is just an Azure specific MCP servers. So let's straight jump into how to install it on VS Code. So this is my VS Code. All I need to do is Look for GitHub Copilot for Azure extension or Azure MCP server extension. So I can look at either or, but I would go for GitHub Copilot for Azure because GitHub Copilot for Azure has extra tools uh, which are much better in your end-to-end -end, uh, uh, developer journey uh, while using Azure. So once you have installed it, which I have, all you need to do is go to the bottom right side and check on your configured tools. Now there is an error here. Uh, this is for a different MCP server. So don't pay attention to that. I'll fix it at some time. So I clicked on the tools. So now I have all the tools popped up. So these are all my Azure MCP tools, uh, all my MCP tools and Azure MCP server has these tools as well. I also get uh, a GitHub Copilot for extension tools, extra. And uh, Azure MCP server has your all your favorite uh, services and their tools. We have ACR tools, we have App Insight tools, we have App Configuration tools, Event Grid, Foundry, and whatnot. So once you have done this, make sure you have selected uh, all your tools only the selected tools are used by your uh, GitHub Copilot agent. So now the best way to use it is again going back to the side, going to agent mode and asking questions. And that's pretty much what you need to do. Install the extension, make sure your server is here. And if required, click on this button and start the server. So when you click on this button, the server comes here and you can start the server. Uh, my service already started. So that's pretty much what you need to do in VS Code. Now let's move to Visual Studio. Same story in Visual Studio. You search for GitHub Copilot for Azure extension. Uh, note that there is no Azure MCP extension in uh, Visual Studio. It's only uh, GitHub Copilot for extension. You come to extension, manage extension, search here and install. You have to restart your uh, system, uh, not system, uh, Visual Studio for this. Once it's done, same story. Uh, you need to go to the bottom right and click on tools. But before that, you might not have a Copilot chat here. Uh, like it might be closed. Uh, but it might be closed like this. You might only see the solution view. All you need to do is uh, go to the side, click on GitHub Copilot, open chat window, and the chat window will open. And if you go to the bottom right, you'll see there is Solution Explorer, and then there is GitHub Copilot. And the same deal here, click on the button here, uh, configure tools button, and you'll see so many Azure MCP tools. And again, once selected only, then it works. Otherwise, it doesn't work. So, since we have done all this for Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code, time to move on to our Java brethren and look at Visual uh, IntelliJ. So, IntelliJ story is the same. You have to install a plugin. So, how do you do that? You go here and click on Plugins. But here you don't install, uh, you don't install Azure um, GitHub Copilot for Azure or Azure MCP. And that's basically the story. And we have the same services which were there on VS here also, like App Config, App Lens. It's the same uh, tool. So if you have GitHub Copilot installed on your IntelliJ, uh, then when you install Azure Toolkit, it will auto-install Azure MCP Server. Otherwise, it will not. So in summary, you all you need to do is install the Lite plugin. For IntelliJ, it's Azure Toolkit for IntelliJ. 
for Visual Studio is GitHub Copilot for uh, Azure for Visual Studio. And for Visual Studio Code, it's uh, GitHub Copilot for Azure or Azure MCB, although highly recommend GitHub Copilot for Azure. That's pretty much it for all our installs. Please let me know in the comments if you want me to share how to uh, enable Azure MCP server on other IDs like VS Code based IDs or even how to use Azure MCP server on other assistants like the IntelliJ has its own assistant called Juni, how to use on that. Uh, if you have get em uh, enough comments, we'll uh, make um, make detailed videos about that as well uh thank you bye bye